right? You guys, I just want to welcome you to my day. I'm checking out Pensacola Beach just to see how we're doing. Um, you know, what's open, what's not open, and I would like to take you along. So this is a kind of, you know, after the hurricane, we'll check it out. Thankfully, the beach is still open in Pensacola Beach, Casino Beach. So that's awesome. Look at all that white sand waiting for you. And that lovely water, it's waiting for you. The dock's been fixed, guys. It's ready to go. Right on the beach. One of my favorite local spots. All right, Crabs is still open. Another great place, right on the beach. And if you're staying in that Hampton Inn right there, that first, that first hotel, look how close you are to Crabs and to the dock. Uh, sadly, the pier in Pensacola Beach is closed. Uh, I don't know how long that's going to take, but you can kind of see there's actually missing railing and they're not going to be letting people up there for a long time. So, but hopefully soon. Unfortunately, Casino Beach Bar and Grill is not open yet. Once this opens, one of the best restaurant views ever. <laughs> Pretty amazing. All right, there's two locations of Elvin's Island uh, souvenir shop and they're both running open, fully functional. So that's awesome. All right, this is the Tiki Bar and uh, looks open. Cute little lights and pretty. It's right by the RV park down here. So that's really nice. Let's go take a quick peek. All right, here's the barbecue place, guys. And this is pretty new and it's open. So that's really awesome. All right, Redfish Bluefish, super popular place in Pensacola Beach is open. It looks amazing. It's so much fun. Let me show you their patio. I just want to let you know that the Gulf Islands National Seashore National Park is open. So we're we're getting there. It's actually a really place. It's a place that I love, and um, it's so much fun to drive through. It's really pretty. Um, unfortunately, I don't know if you can see here behind me, but we've noticed a lot of dunes have been just wiped down. Uh, so it's it's interesting in this area at least that there's a lot of uh, dunes that have been flattened by the hurricane, and still kind of that way. So. Yeah, so just a little update, at least that part is open. All right, so the other side of the Gulf Islands National Seashore, 
uh, towards Navarre, the ride through the park through to Navarre is also open. So if you're wondering, you can drive on it now. It's awesome. So there we go. Some of you may be wondering if Paradise is open and they do have some damage uh, on the one of the buildings. They're kind of fixing that, but Paradise Bar and Grill is open. All right, I forgot to mention, you know, some of the facades on the front of the buildings here are a little bit worn because of the hurricane, but the Native Cafe, which is one of the locals' favorites, is still open. So definitely uh, check that out. I'm so happy that it's open. All right, the um, Margaritaville Hotel, it appears, is closed. So we are getting there. Uh, we're, you know, not completely recovered, but it, it's showing that it's closed. It's not even allowing any customers or anybody that, except for authorized vehicles in the Margaritaville. So but I can't wait. I can't wait <laughs> to see that open. It's so pretty, such a pretty resort. This park over here still has um, all their walkovers blocked off. <laughs> so there's still some damage. We took a little drive around Pensacola Beach to look at some of the residential areas. And whether, you know, there's a few houses that have siding or roofs that are being worked on, but the majority of the places that you would rent down here are ready to go. It, they don't look damaged. Some of these places have actually closed. This is a wine bar with the, the lights above. Um, but probably it's more COVID related. <laughs> There's definitely some shops. That shop is closed too. That one's closed. A couple things are closed here. Definitely some windows boarded up here and um, you know some roof, but the shops are open. Um, yeah, that pier is broken. <laughs> There's broken and damaged, but we'll get there. All right, one of the best places in town. It's super popular. It's always busy because it's awesome. It's Flounders. And they're nice and dry and ready to go. There it is. Peace and love. The sandbar, frisky dolphin, and shaggies, which is one of my favorite. You gotta take a picture with the shark over there. 
Here we go. This is Nola Bar, and we're actually gonna have lunch here, but it's open and we're excited. We've never tried it. This is an unboxing here. This is an unboxing. Yeah. Special. Oh, God. Oh, boy. This, this is, is a good. half. This is a half? This is Holy a half. Holy yeah. cow, that's huge. Oh. oh, God. How are you going to do this? I dumped it. All right, guys. And uh, some of the some of the places here in Gulf Breeze are actually waiting for the bridge to open. So, like McDonald's, they're closed until the bridge opens. That won't be too much longer. And this place will be popping too. Just wanted to show you um, the bridge over to Gulf Breeze in Pensacola Beach. From Pensacola is not open yet, but it is scheduled to be open March 22nd. One lane for just a little part, but then everything else is open. And then fully open by Memorial Day. So as you can see, they're not obviously letting anybody through because they think there's missing parts missing parts of the bridge so only construction and all that all right and that's where we'll leave you on our video you guys thanks for coming along and we'll catch you soon